to today's video, I'm going to be doing some hot laps around my favorite track in the world, and that would be Mid-Ohio, up in Lexington, Ohio. If you've watched my previous vlogs and videos, you know I go there every single year for IndyCar and IMSA racing, and occasionally I'll go for a NASCAR race. But today we're going to be doing hot laps around Mid-Ohio in my favorite, my personal favorite race car of all time. If you already don't know what this is by looking at it or hearing it, it's the uh, Ferrari F2004, which was driven by Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello. And it was one of the most dominant F1 cars of all time, and it's the car that I grew up basically idolizing because I watched F1 as a little kid starting in like 2001, 2002, and watched Michael Schumacher dominate. We're playing on Assetto Corsa. Pretty new to the game, but I'm actually a huge fan of it already just for the simple fact that I can. Woo! I'm a huge fan of Assetto Corsa just for the simple fact that I can drive this car on this track at any time. Like, I never thought that would be possible. We're gonna try and set a hot lap here in a second. I uh, did some testing beforehand. I'm still, my controller settings aren't exactly what I want them to be, but I'm working out the kinks still. Eventually I'm going to get a steering wheel and pedals and the whole seat set up, so it'll be real sim racing here soon on the channel. But yeah, we're working on the controller right now. I'm actually using this controller if you've ever watched the F1 videos that I post. But we're going to try and set a hot lap around my favorite track here at Mid-Ohio. So let's get into it. That's not how you set a haul out. down here at Mid-Ohio. So you're gonna start out on the front straight and downshift once coming into the first turn. Keep up to the curb and ride it out to the exit curb all the way. Up to the keyhole, get on the left side here. You're gonna go down all the way to second or third gear, depending on your preference. It's a double apex turn. Gonna be exiting out to the exit curb. And then there's a little kink in the back straightaway here. This is where the race starts usually go on the green flag. You're going to break at the 110 meter board, or cone, whatever it is. And then the S section, that is going to be difficult, but it's where you make up the most time if you get it just right. And then coming up right here under the Honda Bridge, I get a little loose on the curb, but we save it. And then this yellow curb here is the only part of the lap that I screwed up. I missed the apex there. But other than that, it was almost a perfect lap. I could have probably gained a bit more time in this turn as well. Didn't ride it all the way out to the exit curb, but this turn right here is the most difficult turn on a set of courses. So there's a lot of bumps and it's so easy to lose the car. And we're gonna come across for a 104. Last year's IndyCar lap was at 106. <laughs> Get a little warm-up lap here. A little campground action right there. We'll be there in about two months time in May. Yes, sir. What do you say? Said the cars are slow. <laughs> Best part of the track right here is the essence sitting up there. It's so fun to watch cars go through. Honda 
Honda Bridge. I was basically raised at that Honda Bridge. That's where I learned racing right there, dog. Downshift once in the first turn. Ride it out to the curb. That's not riding it out to the curb. That's oh. dead. There you go. Oh, damn, dude. The inside curb on turn one is not how it is in real life. You can touch that curb and not get upset like that. They made it like an actual like brick that you have to hop up onto. I can't be getting on that curve. It should be like that yellow curve right there. All right, here we go for another hot lap. Let's get it. Downshift once, barely missed the curb, and then I hit the curb. Wow. I'm still learning on the set of course, so that's for sure. Just kind of taking my experience from other racing games. I cut the perfect lap at the end. Damn, bro, that was it. Sweet. ATM, Jack Dan.